Rep Talk UK, Pro Bees. Yes, like, share, comment, subscribe. Repping the Pep Talk boys. So, Manchester United have gone down at home 1 0 to Barcelona in the Champions League quarter final, courtesy of an own goal scored by Luke Shaw. Now, this match for me was definitely not a classic. I mean, at this level, at this stage of the competition, you expect uh, a lot more dynamism. You expect, you know, teams going at each other. But for some reason, it, it kind of felt like a end of season exhibition, but in the Champions League format, which is kind of weird. I mean, apart from the first 10 minutes or so where Barcelona really looked to assert some dominance over Manchester United and threaten that away goal, which they did grab. Uh, Barcelona were fairly subdued to me. A lot of sideways passing. Um, the emphasis was mainly about keeping possession. I felt Semedo on the right-hand side, uh, the right-back, uh, the attacking right-back of Barcelona, was probably their best player throughout the game. Um, he had a number of situations throughout the game where he produced the right final ball, which uh, made some chances, which Barcelona didn't take. Uh, there was one in particular where he, he put through a delicious through ball through a couple of defenders and uh, Luis Suarez uh, just couldn't get his foot around the ball. But... Barcelona seemed to, throughout the game, just stay in first and second gear like they were cruising. I don't know if they thought it would be easy work, whether they thought this is not the Man United of the past. Uh, we don't really need to apply themselves, but this was really a Barcelona that looked very one-paced. And I'll be really surprised if Barcelona go on to win this competition um, from what I've seen today. I mean, for me, they're definitely missing uh, Ousmane Dembele. I think Dembele would have really given Man United some serious problems in the break. Um, that's what Barcelona seemed to be missing, that electrifying pace. But, I mean, why, as a Barcelona fan, would you complain when you've got that away goal and you take it through to the new camp and uh, Man United have got to come out and they've got an attack Barcelona in the new camp where they're going to leave many spaces and Barcelona can thrive, particularly... Um, the, the GOAT, which is Lionel Messi, can thrive in a position of uh, open spaces uh, at home in a, in a new camp. Uh, Manchester United, I mean, yeah, it wasn't uh, uh, one of them famous Champions League nights uh, back in the day with Ryan Giggs and Canton and them man's Kinchelskis used to bust it up. Um, in the Champions League nights uh, for Man United. This is a very much a, a young United team that is in a, a transition. But I think they found in a Mitomane, a very good, promising young midfielder who really asserted his authority throughout the game, um, showing no fear, especially when you're playing against midfielders like Artur, um, Busquets, I mean, you've got, in your own team, you've got Pogba as a £90 million pound player. Again, Fred, what, £60 million. And for you to, you know, come through the ranks and perform like that, hats off. But I think Matomane really set the pace for, for, for Man United, who really hustled and harried and pressed Barcelona all over the pitch. Um, but without that crucial end product. And they probably, Man United, you know, will probably have to, invest in another striker, uh, a striker of um, world-class abilities. I mean, you know, Mario Icardi from, from Inter Milan, he, he would really um, improve that front line. No disrespect to Lukaku, but uh, I believe Man United could probably, you know, increase the levels by investing in the striker. But uh, United are still in it. I mean, they've got uh, excellent wide players to counter-attack Barcelona in a new camp. And um, as you saw against Paris Saint-Germain, uh, Man United, you can never rule them out. And they've got something about them. Solskjaer sure knows how to get these boys up for it. And um, I'm sure they'll be working on a game plan to 
expose uh, potentially lack of pace in the in the Barcelona back line. Right, remember to like, share, comment, subscribe to Pep Talk UK. Uh, that is my uh, summary of the first leg of the quarter final between Manchester United and Barcelona. Pep Talk UK, like, share, comment, subscribe. We out, ya.